Hello Tiggies. In the previous session, we have learned how to work with run application action to execute an application or to open a document by executing the associated application. And also, we have seen how to store the application process ID in the flow variable while running the application. All right. Now, let me go back to the task manager and let me go for the details. There you can see I'm having process ID as well as process name over here. There if you see, whenever I will run an application, it is having process name as well as process ID. Let's assume I want to terminate this process or I want to stop the process. How can I go ahead and stop the process by using Power Automate Desktop? There is one action named terminate process to stop a running process immediately. That is terminate process. Let me drag and drop this action on the workspace. Now, if you see for every application, whenever it is trying to run, it is having process ID. Now, I can't keep this process running continuously due to RAM utilization or something else, right? Now, I want to terminate this process. How can I go ahead and do that? That is by using terminate process. If you see the parameters over here, the first one is the specified process by. There are two options. One is process name, another one process ID. You can terminate the running application with the process ID or the process name. Whenever you're going to select the process ID, you have to give the process ID, which is available in PID under the details. Now, whenever you are selecting process name, in that case, you can see over here, the associated process name, you have to give it in the process name. For the first time, I'm going to select process ID. And then the parameter, the second parameter, the process ID, from where I'm going to get it, there you can see I'm having flow variables. Inside my flow variables, I'm having app process ID, which it is going to be running by using run application. I'm going to give the same process ID over here by selecting the variable. And then I'm going to give app process ID. Let me click on save. Now, if you see whatever the application I'm going to run by using run application action, I'm going to terminate it by using app process ID, which is available as an output for the run application. All right. To show you the output, what I'm going to do, I'm going to a click over here on the action three to put a breakpoint. All right. Let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. There you can see to open the document with the name of about the course dot docx, it is trying to use run application. There, if you see, it has opened the document successfully. Let me minimize that. Now, let me go back to the task manager. And then I'm going to search for the win word. There you can see I'm having win word dot exe as the process name. And there you can see process ID 9616. All right. Now, if you see the process ID has been stored inside the variable that is app process ID with process ID 9616. Now, I'm going to terminate this process after completion of my work. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use terminate process action to terminate it by using app process ID, right? Now, let's run the next action by clicking on run next action. Now the flow has executed successfully. Now we will see the process has terminated or not with 9616, which is available in the task manager. Let me go back and then I'm going to filter it. There you can see, I don't find the ID 9616 over here, right? Because the process has terminated successfully. All right. Now let me show you the another one. Now let me show you specify process by as process name. Now, if you go back to the task manager, I'm going to search for Chrome over here. Let me filter. Let me order by name. There you can see I'm having Chrome at the process name, right? I want to terminate this process because you can see there's a n number of process are using with the name of Chrome. I want to terminate this process. So how can I go ahead and do that? I'm going to select process name and then I'm going to give it as Chrome. I'm not going to give the extension as .exe. I'm just going to give the name as Chrome. There you can see then what will happen. It will terminate the process with the name as Chrome. All right. 
let me click on save before that let me disable the action that is run application which it is not required right now in this scenario i'm going to disable it now let me run the flow to see the output to terminate all the process with the name of chrome all right let's run it flow execution started there you can see it is trying to terminate all the process with the name of chrome.exe there you can see it has terminated all the process which are with the name of chrome there you can see in my task manager in the details i don't find the process name with the name of chrome.exe i hope you understand how to terminate a process by using process id as well as process name as part of this tutorial